I've got some uh, some onions that I've just been sweating in a little butter. Right. Uh, I've got some cauliflower, which gives this beautiful flavour. Nice. Um, Al gratin is good anyway, but with with the cauliflower, it's, it's it really gives it special. a depth. Right. Yeah. Some garlic and some thyme leaves. You want to sweat that down. Right. And you know, just for a couple of minutes, and then you add some milk. You bring that Warm right milk. up. Yep. Warm milk. You bring that right up. Actually, I'm going to stick it in here. That I'll one's cooking then a little longer. Yeah. Right. So you go ahead. You drop that in there. I've got some. Canembert or some brie works really well too. So some soft cheese, it'll e e soft cheese. easily melt down into the warm milk with the cauliflower and the herbs and the garlic. Oh my God! <laughs> you let that come back up to the boil and cook for just a few minutes until that uh, cauliflower is all the way cooked. Gotcha. Right? Then you remove it from the heat. I'm going to cheat over here. Gotcha. I've got a... Uh, a blender. A, a blender, a Vitamix. So you go ahead and drop... Drop everybody <laughs> into the pool. <laughs> You didn't see that. That was very things. impressive. I, I'm, really? Hey, you're at about. Oh, I'd say you're at about 93% no, on that one. 93%. That was pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Just like cooking with my three year old. <laughs> right. So you've got the lid on. You turn right. it on. Don't let that smell. Good. Okay, very good. Are we good? That's good. That's perfect. Okay. That purees into this beautiful, it almost looks like a thick cauliflower mm. soup, and you get that yep. gorgeous cauliflower flavour. So, over here, I've put one of those on the heat, so you see the consistency. Oh, so you can see the consistency. Sure. Right. So, it's easy. Great. On a slicer, I've sliced my potatoes really nice and thin, so a Japanese mandolin or one of those right, right, big right. V slices. Go ahead, throw all of those straight into the potatoes. I've gotcha. washed the starch off again. Really important. Right. So you dump all of those in. Once that happens, you bring this whole dish over here. Gotcha. And we're going to drop it. You got it? Put it right into a buttered baking dish. Just put the whole dish. baby over. That's it. There we go. Beautiful. If you want to organize them and make them look all pretty, you can do, but don't worry, you don't have to. You throw that into the oven, it goes in. Um, gotcha. Not too hot. You, you sort of, you're looking for. Oh, we got oh. potatoes still going from the other. <laughs> the other one. All right, there you go. Okay. Throw them in. Throw them in there. The important thing with these is you want them to rest a little minute. So I've already taken them out over here, and you can see. And you could make them and cool them before you put them into the oven, right? right. And then bake them off the day. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So you literally sort of. So after you roast them off, then you go ahead and. Uh, I mean, after you cool them down, you could do that way ahead, guys. Throw it in the fridge or even the freezer, roast it off, let it set again before you serve it, right? Right, exactly, exactly. So just a minute or two, that's all. They're beautiful and they smell fantastic.